Welcome back to Mass Appeal. If you're looking to cut back on the carbs, skip the pasta and use spaghetti squat instead. Interesting. Right? Well, joining us now is personal chef Collins from Sheffield.com, and he's going to show us how to prepare this delicious vegetable. I've never had spaghetti squash, but apparently it's very easy. It is the easiest thing in the world. If we're any easier, it would prepare itself. So <laughs> that would be nice. I would like to meet a squash. Now, I have here actually half of a spaghetti squash, and usually, well, it's double this size. And so I've already cooked this. There are two, again, easy it? ways to cook it. This one, I just threw it in the oven. Not literally. I baked it in the oven at 375 for about 40 minutes. And the way you can tell it's done is if you take a paring knife or any knife and you put it in the side and it goes through easily. So when the skin is easily perforated, you're good. Exactly. But before you uh, do put it in the oven, or you can do it in the microwave in like 10 minutes, is just like a baked potato, you want to stick it, pierce just through the skin, because otherwise it will kind of explode because <laughs> all the steam building up, that would ruin the evening. Yes. And so, <laughs> or make it really fun. But yeah, that's right. Add more excitement to the evening. <laughs> So what you want to do, and it's easier, now you can cut it in half first, but it's a very dense, wintry type of squash. So put it in whole, and then it's very easy and soft, as you can see, to cut it in half afterwards. Now the only actual work or effort involved next is to take the seeds out. You see some seeds right in there, uh -huh. and you can do that very easily, just uh, either with a spoon or a fork, and just kind of pull them out. And if you miss some, they're easy to pluck out afterwards. Those so look you, like pumpkin seeds I was to me. just really? thinking it's, that. It's all of the family. So uh, the, 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 the squashes and the pumpkins, absolutely. So now you just want to pull these out. I sometimes like to use a pair of tongs. Can you toast those? Those squash seeds? I never have, but I don't see why not. Oh, uh, well, let's do it during the commercial. Yeah, that's right. Let's try but why it. not? That Just, is so I don't cool. think it will work in the that. microwave. No. But, no. So, now here's the thing that looks like a regular squash in there, but if you just start literally just kind of pulling away at it, just with a fork, it's all just, just with a fork, all of a sudden it looks like you've got all these strands of spaghetti because that's how this squash is built, which is why they call it spaghetti squash. And it's available actually about nine months of the year. They're local right now. And uh, what a weird looking product that that's is. That's amazing. Isn't that, isn't that the weirdest thing? But it's really good. So now, in and of itself, if you just have some, uh, it, it tastes really good. Or what I like to do is other things with it. My basic way of serving, I'll just pop it in there, is I just like to grate on some fresh Parmesan. Oh, this is simple. Easy. Uh, so just grate some Parmesan on there, as much as you want, or as little. A little salt, a little pepper. And actually, I also then like to throw in a little fresh basil. So, just a little basil like this. Now, there's so many other ways of doing it. Say you've got somebody, oh, I don't know, maybe a child who doesn't like to eat his or her vegetables. What you can then do is serve the spaghetti squash, because it looks just like spaghetti, underneath some uh, tomato sauce and meatballs. So you deceive your kids, is what you're saying? I'm, I'm all for it, yes. Okay. So uh, if you can't deceive your kids over the dinner table, then why bother? I cannot believe how easy it is. You're, you're right. If it were any easier, it'd prepare itself. Exactly. And My so, goodness. And, and, and you could have this, literally, from the time you walk in the door, if you decide to put this in the microwave, not even 15 minutes later, let it cool down a bit because it'll be warm coming out. And you said, open it up, let it, let it cool with the fork. Out comes the spaghetti squash. You can uh, roll it around with vegetables. You can saute some vegetables. You can actually throw some raw vegetables in there. The sky's the limit. Your imagination is the only thing limiting you to what you can do with spaghetti squash. I cannot believe this. This, I'm, this is going to be a part of my life from now on. Exactly. <laughs> Incorporate it. We're exactly. going to be BFFs, me and spaghetti squash. E exactly, because not only <laughs> not only is, is it really good, but and you're not going to say to yourself, boy, this tastes just like pasta. It doesn't. I don't want to lie to you, but it's really, really good, and it's very filling. And again, if you're trying to cut down on carbs yes. or whatever, it's the perfect vegetable. And this is gluten free. It is. Hey, look at that. Completely. So you've got <laughs> everything you need here in this simple little spaghetti squash. Looks great. Well, we're just getting started though with Chef Bill. If cutting a watermelon or pineapple, it seems like a chore. Well, it won't be anymore. Just wait until you see how easy it can really be to cut these fruits with the right tips and tools. 